Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Deer Valley Confirmation, Delta 1753 Zulu. Phoenix Deer Valley is a medium-sized, predominantly business and general aviation airport. It boasts a large permanent base population. It is located approximately 17 miles north of Phoenix Sky Harbor and is a convenient alternative to the larger and more congested airport. This convenience has led Deer Valley to become one of the busiest general aviation airports in the country, routinely handling over 450,000 operations per year. The airport is home to several high-activity flight schools, which along with the large number of itinerant aircraft, results in an extremely busy air traffic environment. The airport configuration consists of two parallel runways with staggered thresholds numbered 7 right, 25 left, and 7 left, 25 right. A complex taxiway system provides access to the fixed base operations and the numerous hangars located on the north and south sides of the airport. In an effort to help pilots identify the correct runway, Deer Valley Airport has implemented a unique visual aid. The runways and taxiways are surrounded and bounded by different colored rock. The rock around the south runway, 7 right, 25 left, is colored red, while the north runway, 7 left, 25 right, is green. Several issues contribute to wrong runway landing attempts. Expectation and confirmation bias is a fancy way of saying that we can sometimes hear and see what we want to, and not what is necessarily true. Pilots tend to fixate on the first runway they see, especially if the runway is considerably larger and is easier to see than a corresponding parallel runway. Runway assignment changes may occur for several reasons, including balancing air traffic controller workload, and landing aircraft on the runway that is closest to their destination on the airport. Pilots need to pay strict attention and ensure that they hear, understand, read back, and execute operations as instructed. This goes for ground as well as airborne operations. Hotspot 1 and Hotspot 2 are essentially the same issue. Aircraft clearing either runway and instructed to hold short of the other runway have crossed the hold short locations and fouled the runway. Even after reading back the appropriate clearance, these mistakes still occur. Test 39, Quebec, taxi to Bravo 9, hold short runway 7 right. Yeah, Bravo 9, holding short of 7 right on Bravo 9, 39 Quebec. Close attention must be paid to the visual cues outside the cockpit located on the pavement as well as the taxiway edge. Remember, you must have a specific clearance to cross any runway. Quebec, cross runway 7 right at Bravo 9, taxi via Charlie and I'll give you further. Okay, so Charlie 39 Quebec crossing runway 7 right via Charlie, hold short of Charlie 5. Also occurring at the hotspot locations is essentially the opposite situation. Aircraft clearing runway 7 left, 25 right to the south are not taxiing across the hold short line, protecting that runway in a timely manner before stopping. Pilots must have their aircraft completely across this line before the runway is considered clear and available. Due to airport geometry, this may mean that in order to properly clear the runway, Aircraft may be on or across parallel taxiway Bravo. This issue also occurs for aircraft clearing runway 7 right, 25 left to the south. Again, to adequately clear the runway, pilots must cross the whole short line completely. In most cases, this will mean that the aircraft is actually stopped on taxiway Charlie, not the connector. 
The opposite is also true. Aircraft taxiing for departure and told to hold short runway 7 right or 25 left at any of the intersections may still be on taxiway Charlie. The tower understands and expects these situations and plans accordingly. The last area that pilots need to be aware of concerns the parallel taxiways Charlie and Delta on the south side of the airport. These taxiways are closely spaced and pilots have confused them in the past. Taxiway Delta is normally the outbound route, while Taxiway Charlie is normally used for inbound routes via one of the Delta connectors to the ramp. Several tips and techniques may help you avoid these costly and dangerous mistakes at Deer Valley and at any other busy airport. Not only read back what you hear, but what you intend to do, and read back all runway taxiway hold short instructions. This will go a long way in helping to reduce the number of wrong surface operations. Two, part of any pilot's standard operating practices should be actively scanned for signs and markings that are key to complying with ATC instructions. Deferring that after landing checklist until clear of all runways may help you with this. Cross runway seven right at Charlie five, hold short runway seven left. Crossing runway 7 right and Charlie 5, holding short of 7 left for 39 Quebec. 3. Finally, yet importantly, if you are in doubt, ask. The controllers will appreciate your desire to not have a runway incursion or wrong surface operation. The tower is there to help. Being aware of the hotspots and the other configuration issues at Deer Valley Airport will help pilots make better decisions and along with the ATC tower keep the operation safe and efficient. Now you're better prepared for your trip to Phoenix Deer Valley Airport. It's always better to know before you go.